Another day, another time. We on the grind. Welcome back, Thoughts. Today, I want to be talking about this whole Bruce drop him off situation. So today, um, I was going scrolling through Twitter and pretty much like he had gotten like banned recently for some like kind of racist rant and then uh, came back because Aiden Ross got banned. And then when he came back, they decided to wait until right after Black History Month to ban him. And that's kind of, I don't know, that seems a little uh, planned, but uh, we're going to get into it. So. I got all the keys. All right, so pretty much the, the premise of the story was already set, right? Like, um, Bruce, again, went on a racist, like, kind of rant, basically saying, like, F them crackers type of thing. Uh, he doesn't like, you know, uh, the racist stuff that's been going on in the Twitch community and X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. He got banned for that. And then after he got banned for that, um, Aiden basically started to act all weird. And then that's when he did the little, you know, brought his friend on, started saying the N-word. He got banned. And then right after he got banned, Bruce gets unbanned. So then he gets unbanned for like a day or two, right? And then basically he comes back. He has a the first stream he does, right? He has a thing where he has a paper and it's like still like pretty much like F them crackers, right? Like it says F them and then he has like a box of crackers on the side, which is like, again, okay, like I get it. He's pushing the envelope, but bro, like if that was such a big deal, they should have banned him that night. You know, why wait until after Black History Month to ban him? You know, it just seems a little weird. It just seems a little weird to me. You're telling me it took that long to get back to Twitch headquarters when it's like he posted pictures of literally his stream being reported, like spam reported just for him being him. You know what I mean? Like people were just spam reporting his stream type thing, like just hating. So it's like it's crazy that he got reported 13 times and didn't get banned, but then just happened to get banned exactly the day after Black History Month. Like that just seems a little off to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put my detective hat on or anything like that. Because um, that's just weird. But again, it just raises a lot of questions because I feel like Twitch has not been doing business very, very, let's say, professionally. You know, like there's a lot of stuff going on over there right now. There's like a Pokemon situation that just came out um, where it was like basically a Twitch employee pretty much like was basically lying to other like like semi-famous streamers saying that he was dating Pokemon and then using that to like get stuff out of those streamers like basically saying like, oh like i'll help your career or oh like i'll help your channel grow da -da 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 -da. like look what i did for pokemon like i've been dating her we're this we're that we're this and it's like that stuff is gross behavior but again like twitch never comments on stuff like this you know it's like wh when are we gonna get to a point where we're gonna start like demanding stuff from twitch whether it be like information or like on these situations or like what are the repercussions that are being done to this person you know what i mean like it just seems like twitch has all this power and they are just not handling it right. Like, they are just not doing anything right with it whatsoever. They're just basically handling situations like a 14-year-old who just stumbled into a lot of money and power. And he's just trying his best to, like, make shit work, I guess. But, yeah, other than that, man, it's just like Twitch has just been so weird, man. So weird lately. And it just, again, it raises a lot of questions because it's like, bro, is Twitch ever going to, like, stop? Or are they just going to continue doing this type of shit and just getting away with it? Because, again, like, there, there's this isn't the first situation. This is not the first time a Twitch person has abused their power. Or this isn't the first time um, a, someone has been, like, hypocrisy banned, right? I don't even know if that's a word, but hypocritically banned, right? Like, th this isn't the first time, like, any of that's happened. And so it's like, again, it's like, when, when, how do you even step up against this, right? If I'm in Bruce's situation, again, like, I, he's a full-time streamer. He's probably excited. He just got his platform back. He can stream. He can do all the stuff. Right. And then he's banned literally after he just came back, had a redemption, made them all this money. Because, again, they're not going to pay him out after he got banned. Right. I'm sure he got subs, donations, all that shit. They're going to keep all of it. You know what I mean? So it's like, again, it's like almost did they do that on purpose so he can make some more money by the end of the revenue split by the or by the end of the month. Right. Or was it just like, oh, we, we just got got it that time. And it, just, it was just a coincidence. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Shit's been looking pretty weird, man. Um, I want to ask everyone to basically watch after themselves and be careful because, again, you never know what corporate monsters out there to mooch, leech, or basically steal your likeness. You know what I'm saying? Dave Chappelle said it best. You know, the things these people use in these contracts are things that people like us that are like creative and don't really pay attention to those type of things aren't even going to know. You know, like, bro, what, what was that word that uh, uh, Dave Chappelle used? He said they, they want to use your likeness in perpetuity. 
and it, they, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, whatever. They're basically meaning like forever, right? Like they have, they own your likeness forever, bro. And I feel like Twitch is the same thing. If you're a Twitch person and you're on there, your content, your channel, whatever the case may be, they, it's all owned by Twitch, bro. They can pull the pull the rug from under you for whatever reason, whenever they want. And that is nuts to me. But again, it's just going to continue being that way because not many people are going to actually try to like do something about it because too many of the people on top that have all the Twitch attention are basically still just like basking in the limelight. You know what I mean? Pokimane literally, this is the second Pokimane allegation, right? Where she's had a deep fake and literally had a Twitch employee pretty much like try and blackmail her or basically use her name to like I, use her name for blackmail, right? And again, it's like she hasn't really done anything other than like make money off of it, right? Like she's put a little like reaction on her channel or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But like, again, like she's like, I'm not going to expose any names or anything. Like, bro, expose names, bro. People need to start being held accountable. Like, come on, bro. Like, you can't stop letting people get away with this because, again, people are doing these things under a certain name and then one name is being patronized or demonized for it while other people are just using that likeness to do whatever the fuck they want just because, again, they just randomly got aboard the Twitch train. So it's like, bro, you got to start name dropping people. You got to start name dropping people. You got to start talking to people directly. People need to start being held accountable for their mistakes and their actions, period. I'm saying the, the internet is not going to be normal again until that is that standard is brought up. I feel like with COVID, COVID brought this wave of just like, we're all bored, so entertainment is entertainment. So someone is going to be entertained with some sort of whatever raunchy content's out there, and we need to get out of the habit of that. You know what I mean? It just feels like, again, like day after day, we're just watching content based on like the most violent and like the most hateful stuff. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, and it's just, it's getting... More weird to be a part of, but hey, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to keep doing my thing again. Like, I just, I feel like this is what I like to do. You know, I like to talk about situations and uh, hopefully I can bring some insight to it. Hopefully I can shed some people, you know what I'm saying, uh, or shed some light on some people and hope that they can not do the same mistakes when they get older and hopefully get into a position of power. You know what I mean? Um, but man, you never know. All right, that's it for today. I'm out. Um, shout out to Bruce Drop Me Off, man. Shout out to your Rage Gaming. Shout out to Kai Cena. Shout out to that whole group, you know, uh, RDC World, that whole group of black creators that really have just came up and stuck together through thick and thin that have really, like, pushed the envelope this Black History Month. I feel like they did a lot of things for, you know, the black community in general. And I think it kind of shows that, like, black streamers are definitely, like, you know, we're, we're winning right now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us are definitely doing pretty good. Um, the ones that have the eyes on us and stuff like that, you know, like Gideon and um, again, like Kai and, you know, your age. These people are getting like a couple thousand people like concurrently every night watching them, you know, and it's just it's such an amazing thing to see, you know, especially when it's like these people are just they're funny individuals, you know. So it's like, you know, hey, you got to get flowers where flowers are due. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got to definitely praise the people that are doing great things and, you know, stay on the grind, stay on your journey, stay on your path and. Hopefully you'll continue doing those, doing things like that. You know what I'm saying? Or you'll measure up like that or whatever the case may be. But all right, it's enough talking for today. Um, Man, I just had to get that off my chest because, man, Twitch is weird. But again, it is what it is. Make sure you guys please like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to grow here. Um, nothing crazy. But, you know, if you did enjoy the content, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do that. I'm going to start setting up little ways to help uh Make it a little easier for people to actually, you know, start subscribing and stuff like that. I'm not going to front, you know what I'm saying? I'm the same way. I'll be liking people's content, but it'd be hard to, like, click out the video, scroll that guy's name, and then hit the subscribe button when it's like, bro, I can just hit the arrow and go to my next video. I could just already have another video I already want to watch. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many other things like, I already have planned out after the video is done. So, it's like, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I'll make that easier, though. Love you guys. Appreciate all the support. I will see you guys in the next one. I see the enemy, they try to get to me Super like Mr. Clean, I live to infinity My life is a mystery, they be hiding my history So I face so much misery, and it feels like I'll never be free Hey, hey, you finish just set us free Hey, hey, I got all the keys Hey, hey, that's what he said to me Anything coming my path, they gon' get done real fast no, I ain't taking it back. No, you ain't getting the pass. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I 
it, just let it be black This a component, just rap Bitch in the prison, the facts Come with me, run, get slapped I feel like I'm gonna win But this shit got no pride Say you want me a dollar Before you touch the sky New say killing niggas Better stay inside Me you wait to die Only few to fly None of my niggas tell no lie None of these bitches be my wife For that talk, you gon' slide I'm in the bag, real time Pick it up, flu and kick Sick it up, yo man Lowest thing, told her that money and everything. You base your life on the phone screen. You chasing diamonds and codeine. They do the drugs, escape from it all. Die from the buzz, die from withdrawal. Die from the high, die as you fall. This shit a joke, it ain't funny at all. Don't believe.